other questions. Have you used any other scratch mold systems, or is this friendly? This is the only one I've used so far. I mean, I talked to people at the Glass Guru. It's just the other one I sell. Um, and, you know, they assure me that it's easier, it's quicker. And, you know, it might be. I've just never actually used it. Touched it. Looked at it. But never used it in the field before. That's the dry one. It is. That's the dry one. It's completely dry. Like I said, the Scratch Hog, you use, like, paste and stuff with that. Never used that one. But uh, this one does great, great results. It's just time-consuming. So when you, I know Mike talked about when you're feathering it out, mm -hmm. would you recommend three to six inches each way? If you have it, yeah. If you've got that. If you've got it, go six inches out. Um, and it's really, like, it's not hard. Like what you saw, you just got to keep it wet just for easier glide. What happens sometimes if, uh, you know, you're at a strange angle. I mean, I was working uh, on a step ladder with this before, and it's just, just to get up there, it's a little awkward. If you can't keep your weight on it, kind of, it'll pop off the glass a little bit. But there are things you can adjust on here to help yourself not come off the glass. I mean, this is just a little bit tensioner. Um, you can adjust the shroud back and forth. There's all different things you can do to find the perfect spot to keep it on the glass. But it does come off. Um, easy to work with outside. If you do work with it inside, what I'd recommend is bringing a lot of drop cloths, a lot of towels, bring some painter's tape, tape off the area you're working around. Because when you do pop off, that, uh, since slurry is kind of going everywhere, and uh, you know it's, it's not kind of. <laughs> it, it can stain stuff if you know you get it on this <coughs> carpet. It might not come out right away if you don't catch it right away. So just uh, make sure your area is all taped off. And How deep a scratch will that one go? Yeah, it'll go deep. You know, I mean, if you, can, if you can get your fingernail stuck in it, it'll take it out. It's going to take a while. One of the uh, most intense scratches I ever removed was from a woman's dining room table. Maybe a table and a half long and three wide. Huge, expensive, solid one piece of glass. I'm talking this thick. So I wasn't worried about going too deep and cracking it or anything like that. I could just go and go and go. It was about this long, and you saw this thing from across the room. So it was a perfectly clean glass table, and it was just huge. It took me about eh, three hours of straight working on it. I mean, I knew I was going to take a lot of glass out, so I buffed an area about this big around it just to even everything out because I went pretty deep on it. But when it was done, perfect. And I distorted the entire area, not just one little area, so it wasn't as notable. I used a system called Janville, mm -hmm. which is uh, it's like 150 bucks. You know, they send you uh, a pad that you can put into your drill. Did not work nearly as nicely as yours, but for a hundred bucks versus twenty four hundred. For a light scratch, you know what I mean. If, say, if you, especially if you caused it, that's the first thing I would try is right. the cheapest, yeah. the easiest way just to see if you can do it. Yeah. It was just was it just a pad with it, like slurry or like yes with it. Slurry comes with it. There's a spray. There's a couple of different pads, replacement pads. So you basically have everything you need right there, minus the cordless drill yep. to get it all done. Um, but yeah, man, I'd love to have that twenty four hundred dollars system. That's it, it's good. I mean, if, if you can get the work for it, if you can market yourself right, say, you know, we're the only one in X amount of mileage, mm -hmm. you can make some money with it. It's just, uh, you really got to practice it, and work with it, and know what you're doing with it. Is there a lot of maintenance on it as far as like pottery is um, It's really not bad. Most thing, the most important thing is just lubricate everything before you use it. And when you go out in the field, make sure you have your lubricant, and make sure you have... Uh, I mean, they give you all the tools, too. They give you Allen keys to take it apart in the field. They give you the big uh, file to rough up the pad. They threw in an extra, on the shroud here, there's like a, kind of like a big over, and they threw in an extra one, because if you get like a nasty nick in this thing, it's not going to hold the seal to the window. It's going to leak everywhere. It's going to be, you're not going to get suctions. So you're not going to get slurry going through. So they give you a lot of stuff with it. And uh, it's a good system. They even gave me an extra belt drive ever got stripped down and went. So, I mean, I've really just done maintenance on this machine. I've never had to fix anything, just keep up with it, and it's going to go. When you're all done bringing it apart, what kind of cleaning is involved with that since you're running slurry through the whole thing? Um, I, I've actually never cleaned out the lines. It never gummed up on me. We've had this thing for maybe three years. It's never gotten dunked in the lines. You just kind of drain it back into the bucket, you know, hold them up like that. For a minute, give it a shake and then coil it up. That's it. 
Do you clean the uh, pad or anything? Nope. Rinse it off? No. If, I mean, after you uh, take your file to it, all you do is give it one of these, a little bit of dust, and a few chunks come out, and that's just so they don't get sucked through the lines and clog up the pump. Uh, the pump inside the bucket, that you gotta kinda clean off every once in a while because when it sits in the bucket for a month and you're not using it, the uh, stuff just kinda gets real gummy in there. So you gotta take, uh, there's a screen over the thing, the inlet, and just clean that off. Um, make sure you keep an eye on your bucket. You don't get very much hose that comes with it. So if you knock that over, the pump still goes until you turn the power off and it'll shoot white slurry pretty far. So, that's we originally bought this as a window cleaning business because we scratched a lady sliding glass door. Replacement cost was 700 bucks for the door. We called around to 20 places to see if they did scratch a little more. Nobody did, so we thought, oh, hey, you should get this. And it paid for itself in damages we caused the first year. <laughs> <laughs>